Let's talk about creative direction. If you've watched a music video or looked at your favorite band's album art or paid attention to their style of photography or engaged with any other visuals on social media or at their live shows, you've witnessed the work of several different filmmakers, graphic designers, photographers, videographers, and motion artists working together in perfect harmony to bring a greater creative vision to life. But behind all of that content and behind all of the massive crews that it took in order to get all of that content, there's one person. One person whose sole job is to work with the band or the artist and create and curate memorable and impactful branded visual content for their client. And that person is in charge of what I think is one of the most crucial roles today in the music industry, the creative director. A creative director is in charge of a lot of things, but one of the most important things is creating and maintaining the brand identity of an artist or a musician. And that, my friends, is why I think this role is so crucial, because in today's day and age, in 2023, 2024, there is so much content to be consumed on a number of different platforms. And if that content is not curated, and if that content is not consistent, it's not gonna be consumed purposefully, and it's not gonna point back to the artists themselves, which it should do. So what is a creative director? They're a leader. They have to be somebody who can find and vet the right teams to achieve the right aesthetic and look and feel and vibe of a project. And you've got to do all that while working with a specific budget and meeting sometimes ridiculous deadlines. I did a video on tight budgets and quick turnaround times right here if you want to check it out. Another thing that's a really important key element to have as a creative director is you really need to be able to challenge the artist who you work with. There's a lot of times when an artist will feel kind of drawn toward a certain aesthetic or a certain vibe uh, because it's trendy and because they're, they're seeing it a lot in the music space. And sometimes that makes sense for their brand and their music, and sometimes it doesn't. And when it doesn't, you need to be able to articulate the reasons that you don't think that that's the right choice. I'm going to give you guys an example. I worked with an artist and they were about to release a new EP. And everything that they referenced to me creatively was... Uh, very moody and very dark, very gritty, very grainy, a lot of stuff that I love, but uh, a lot of stuff that I just didn't feel like was a right tonal vibe for the music. Every time I would suggest anything that was kind of in a different direction, they would really push back hard. We want it to be dark, we want it to be moody, we, we want it to feel underexposed, we want it to feel gritty, all of these things. Um, so you want to honor the artist's wishes and give them what they want, but you need to do it in a way that it makes sense for their brand and for their music. And sometimes it's easier for somebody like me looking in on the outside to see that than it is for that artist themselves. So in this case, we talked for about two hours about what they really responded to in those references, why they wanted the grain, what 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 feeling they got when they saw grainy underexposed photography. And, and it really boiled down to they really responded to imperfections in art, imperfections in photography, imperfections in video, and we really leaned heavily in that, but did it in a lighter way that it matched the style of music. So all in all, guys, a creative director is really a jack of all trades. Like you don't necessarily need to be the world's best photographer or designer or videographer, but you need to have the vernacular to articulate your ideas to the best videographers and to the best designers and to the best photographers. You are really in control of the lens that the audience looks at the artist through. And that is an important responsibility and it's a really cool one too. So guys, if this video was helpful to you, please consider liking and subscribing to this channel. It really helps me out a lot. Um, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one.